Former Attorney General and Minister of Justice Faba Idris Zambai says he advised against all decrees violating the rights of Gambians during his time serving in the defunct AFPRC junta. Barista Mbai made the, made the remarks on his second day of appearance before the Truth, Reconciliation and Reparations Commission on Tuesday. Kadija Duseka files in this report. Fafa Mbai says he was told to present a man with two sorities as a condition to fulfill his bail. He adds that it was Malamin Jane that bailed him from the police for $4 million and he now tells the commission what happened when he appeared at Algali Commission. Now at the commission, the conclusion of the commission was that my tax liability is $1.5 million. I was in the commission, I was in the commission, I was in the commission, I million and I was I had already paid tax for the period. I was in the commission. And by the analysis made by Panelka Foster, uh, it was found that my tax was overpaid $50,000. Uh, Yet the, the commission came to the conclusion that I owe $1.5 plus million. Lambay further notes that Alaji Marik Tambidu bailed him out with property deeds. He recalls that he later challenged the tax liability but was asked to first pay half of what he was charged for but says he refused. In 1996, he took the matter to Supreme Court that the charge against him contravened the law and was irrelevant but it was struck out by the military decree. He instead received another heavy loss in return. So by writ of fascist, dated 9 January 1996, the Inspector General of Police was commanded to seize and sell that of my goods and chattels found anywhere within the jurisdiction of the Supreme Court and caused to be levied the sum of $1,562,696.28 bututs and also interest and cost of execution which sum was by order of the Commission at George on 12 December 1995 to be paid by me. Mr. Mbai, still reluctant to go by the Supreme Court order, filed an appeal at the Gambia Court of Appeal but received a death threat this time around. Then there followed threats to my life of being found six feet deep in the ground. The threat was first announced on Radio Gambia. The chairman has said all those advocating human rights, especially those who have just been sacked out of the government, may have to keep their mouths shut or they'll find themselves six feet deep. According to him, he did not further pursue the court because he wanted to continue living. Loyambai says in January 1996, Yanko Basongo, the interior minister, then officer commanding Combo Division, led a team of police officers to his residence at Fajara to serve him an eviction letter on orders of Justice Algali. He says among the things confiscated were his house, car, and furniture. For iAfrica TV, 